Hi there, I'm Amy Murray from Teaching Exceptional Kinders, and today I'm here with three signs that your classroom management might need a total overhaul. I have been there in your shoes, so don't take this as a personal attack, but let's dig right in. Sign number one, you feel like a broken record. You are constantly repeating yourself and kids just aren't following directions or it's the same thing over and over again. And not with one or two students, but like the whole group, right? It's just not working. So that can be solved in a variety of ways, but for sure, that's a sign that things are not going very well. Sign number two, you're just feeling overwhelmed. Now, teaching is an overwhelming thing, but maybe you're dreading going to school in the morning and it's just daunting. The idea of having to go face that classroom of kids is like, Ugh, I don't know how I'm going to do it today, how it's going to be just like yesterday and yesterday was a disaster and I don't want to continue this disaster, but I don't know where to go from here. Okay. And sign number three is your kids just seem sort of disengaged, and not interested in either you or what you are trying to teach them. This is a big red flag in kindergarten because in general, kindergartners are excited to be at school and excited to learn. And it's fairly easy to tap into those ex that excitement and make even something like Johnny Appleseed seem super fun and totally exciting. And so if your kids just aren't feeling it and you're exhausted and you're just constantly repeating yourself over and over again, it's probably time to do a little self-reflection and how can I revamp and overhaul my classroom management so my kindergarten classroom is a fun place for all of us to be. Yes, all of us even you, the teacher, you can enjoy coming to work too. There are a couple of things you can do to address some of these. Some of them are super basic, but we overlook them, like just implementing visuals in your directions and using visuals to set your expectations. Even your classroom rules should have a visual component so kids know what's coming next. And having more structure in your classroom, like a class visual schedule, something like this with visuals, goes a long way too. I mean, it can alleviate anxiety for you and your students. It can hold everybody accountable. Look, we're here on our schedule. We need to get through X, Y, and Z before we get to something fun. You can build in more fun pieces that way. Um, and it's just something that I think maybe sometimes we start the year with a visual or with a schedule of some kind and then we stray from it. Or we never even considered it because kindergartners can't read, they don't need a schedule. It really can make a big difference and just one little tool. Um, maybe you need a way to start focusing on positive behaviors that are happening in your classroom so that negative stuff stops pulling you down. And you can start to recognize students for the positive things that they are doing. That can make them more excited and it can also make you more excited. And there are tons and tons of different easy ways to focus on the positives. Trying some kind of whole class reward system is great. Using something as simple as these little glow and grow notes. The glow, the glow notes are the most powerful classroom management tool I ever used in my kindergarten classroom. And that sounds so dramatic, but it is so true. Just printing the stack of a behavior checklist and sending them home with kids made a world of difference. But but it's just these little things compounded when you overhaul everything that can make a huge difference in your classroom. And maybe you're watching this in May and it's the end of the year and you're like, oh, I just got to get through the next couple of weeks. I hear you. Get through them. But then think about things this summer. What can you do next year so you don't feel like this next May? right? Maybe you're watching this in the middle of the school year. It is never too late to press pause and reset your classroom. It's not. You can do it on a Wednesday morning in the middle of the week. Right? It is not too late to start to try something new, especially if you're feeling like we talked about earlier. If you are feeling just defeated, you don't have to spend the whole school year feeling that way. Yes, there are things that are beyond your control, but you can try to tweak a couple of things that are in your control 
to see if they can make a difference. And I pray that these tools do help you to make a positive change in your classroom management so you can get back to loving teaching again. We talk about these tools and so much more inside of the Kindergarten Behavior Blueprint, and I'd love for you to consider joining us there. It's our course just for kindergarten teachers chatting about all things classroom management with an emphasis on behavior. We talk about beha building behavior systems for both individuals, students, and whole, your whole class so you can focus on the positives. Building relationships because that's the advice everybody wants to give you, right? When a kid's out of control, did you build a relationship with them? When a kid just doesn't want to do the work, well, what's your relationship like? Well, how do you build those relationships? We have a easy, easy breezy three-step system to get parents and kids on your side. And then our last module is all about building student independence and helping them to become independent learners and thinkers in your classroom so you can keep teaching. So all of that, all of our printables, so you can create the teacher toolkit you need to overhaul your classroom management as quickly as you need to is included inside the Kindergarten Behavior Blueprint. So I'd love for you to check it out. You can grab the link down below. While you're there, please like and subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming videos. And if you have any questions for me, you can drop them in the comments or here is my contact information. I am happy to chat and troubleshoot all things kindergarten, um, especially classroom management to make your life as easy as possible because teaching kindergarten is hard enough but not liking it makes it 10 times harder. So you've got this, take a deep breath, try something simple today, maybe grab our free glow and grow notes, print them out tonight and just see how it goes tomorrow and start with baby steps towards working on overhauling this classroom management so that you are in control as the teacher and you can enjoy teaching again. All right, until next time, have an exceptional day.